In fact, one element was named after its ability to produce light. Okay? This element was discovered in the late 1600s. Okay? It's been known for a very long time, over 300 years. This element is called, does anyone know what it is? Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Somebody's very good there, yes. Phosphorus. So phosphorus is uh, named from the Greek, meaning the light giver or light bringer. Well, we better find it in the periodic table. Time to test your chemistry again, those with lasers. So can you find... Oh, very good, yes. So it's P for phosphorus. That's it. There seems to be a gathering of laser pointers just around the phosphorus. Very good. Well, why was this discovered quite so early on? So this is a very, very reactive element. In fact, it's so reactive that it spontaneously ignites in air. Why was this discovered so early? Well, one of the reasons is because of the rather gross method used to make it. Now, I have a description here, and it was actually initially made from urine, okay, or we, all right? So, um, here's a description from the 17th century. It says, take a good quantity of urine, newly made by those who commonly drink beer. Apparently, that works better. Okay, evaporate the humidity by a slow fire in an earthen vessel until it comes to the consistence or of an extract of thick honey. So, this is really horrible, gooey stuff now. Okay, then you put all the matter together in an earthen pot, set it in a cellar, and cover it and leave it there for three to four months that it may ferment and corrupt. So this is really horrible stuff now. Well, after that, you add some sand, heat it up, and distill out the phosphorus. And the phosphorus needs to be collected under water. And this is because it is so reactive. I say there are two reasons why it was um, discovered quite so early on. One is the really gross method for making it, and the second one is because, well, once you had made it, you really couldn't miss it. And this is because of this fantastic light that it gives out. Well, here we are. This is um, a rather nice painting with an alchemist in front of Phosphorus here. He's just, just observed this, distilling over, and he thought, what on earth is this? This has a rather catchy title, this picture, the painting here. It was painted by Joseph Wright of Derby, and the, the title of this painting is The Alchemist in Search of the Philosopher's Stone Discovers Phosphorus and Prays for the Successful Conclusion of His Operation, as was the custom of the ancient chemical astrologers. So, not exactly very snappy, but uh, nonetheless, it uh, tells you what's going on here. Okay, here now is the uh, description of phosphorus from 1698. And this was in a book called A Course of Chemistry by Nicholas Lemery. And he says, After some experiments made one day at my house upon the phosphorus, a little piece of it being left negligently upon the table in my chamber, the maid making the bed took it up in the bedclothes she had put on the table, not seeing the little piece. The person who lay afterwards in the bed, waking at night, and I like this bit, perhaps through the more than ordinary heat he felt, <laughs> perceived that the coverlid was on fire. It seems that the phosphorus, being heated with the body of him that lay in the bed, had set fire to the coverlid, and before he had perceived it, had burnt a great hole in it. 